Hello Internet. So today, we're not racing. The penguin is going on a little bit of an adventure. The Viking ship Draken Harald Harfagra, Harfagra is sailing up the Delaware River right now and they're planning on being in Penn's Landing at about 4 p.m. today. It's uh, Friday the 31st. So I am going down to try and uh, meet them on their way up because it'll be a fun thing to do. Uh, it is an incredible, historic, one-of-a-kind vessel. It's the biggest Viking ship uh, operating in the world. Uh, my very nerdly upbringing uh, had me very enthusiastic about Vikings, kind of still am, and uh, of course I'm pretty enthusiastic about boats. So uh, yeah, it's kind of the best of both worlds for my uh, nerdy little heart. I have got a uh, Viking shield strapped onto the side of the boat because uh, of course I do. Yeah, we're going pretty much dead downwind right now from Riverton Yacht Club, which is right there behind me. I just took off and we're gonna uh, go uh, go see a Viking boat. It's starting to rain. Uh, I'm prepared. I've got my, my cheap yellow rain gear ready to go uh, if it comes to that. I'll be checking in once in a while to uh, tell you all about the Viking boat. All right, that's it. So what we're seeing here is the Taconi Palmyra Bridge. It's the first bridge just to the uh, downriver side of the Riverton Yacht Club. It's about a mile away from the club, and that's where we are. If you live in the Philadelphia area and you ever listen to a uh, traffic report, and they say, and traffic is a giant mess pretty much everywhere because there's an opening on the Taconi Palmyra Bridge, is because cargo ships gotta pass that little gap right there. Two halves both go up. Uh, we get commercial traffic cruises through here pretty often, so uh, it snags everything up, and I thought maybe uh, if you're from the area, or even if you're not, you'd like to see the bridge from a slightly different perspective, because it's kind of neat. Neat enough that a local uh, brewery uses it as their logo. Uh, Double Nickel is a brand new brewery, well, new-ish brewery in, uh, in the area. Just such a distinctive bridge that they uh, decided to use a little piece of local landmark for their, for their uh, packaging. We're coming up down there on the Betsy Ross and the Del Air Railroad Bridge, and we'll probably get a close view of those too as we go under. So the rain has stopped, that's cool. And the wind has picked up, that's even cooler. And we are right uh, just a bit upriver of the Betsy Ross Bridge and the Del Air Railroad Bridge. Betsy Ross is Route 90, goes into uh, the northeast-ish part of Philly and dumps right onto Interstate 95 on the Philly side. And then the Del Air Railroad Bridge is both used by cargo trains and New Jersey Transit to get from Atlantic City all the way up over the river through North Philly uh, into 30th Street Station and beyond. So it's really fun when a uh, train goes over that because it is all rumbly and crazy. Between these two bridges is a little public uh, boat launch that I used to sail my O'Day Javelin out of. My wife and I, uh, she was my girlfriend at the time, we got stuck with no motor in our little 14-foot Javelin for about six, seven hours just battling wind and tide. We were 100 yards from the, uh, from the ramp, but we just couldn't get there. And it was, uh, it was kind of miserable, but we survived and uh, she uh, decided to marry me a couple years later. So uh, yeah, she's a keeper. We're probably three miles from Riverton now. There's the Taconi Palmyra, and about a mile past that is Riverton Yacht Club. And so we're, we're cruising along and headed to Philly. Here we go. There is a CSX uh, cargo uh, freight train going over the Del Air Railroad Bridge right now. Just chugging along, nice and slow, being all huge and rumbly. It's kind of cool to, uh, to watch that happen. When the trains aren't going and the ships are coming through, that whole span right there between those two towers lifts straight up. It's a lift bridge rather than like a bascule or a swing bridge. It's uh, pretty neat to see in operation. But yeah, probably not today since there's a big old train on it. Check this thing out. The locomotives have already passed uh, the entire bridge. They're over on the other side. And all the way along the bridge, we can't see the back end of this train. <laughs> it is uh, a whole lot of stuff getting hauled. There's some liquid containers, there's some boxcars. I think I saw a flatbed up there. Just all kinds of stuff. And they're moving that uh, east towards Jersey. Not sure where. Off they go. Another nutty thing about the Del Air Bridge is that there's a lift here and there's an old swing right there. That bit, uh, just to the left of the tower, the concrete pillar, the stone pillar right in the middle, 
that section would pivot 90 degrees on that pylon there to make a channel for ships to go through either on the left side or the right side of it but i guess it got too narrow for the uh, ships of the day so they put in the concrete piers here and here and then the lift bridge so that uh, they could get big new ships up the delaware to trenton and burlington oh yeah that right there used to be a swing bridge and here comes New Jersey Transit. Going from AC through Lindenwald, up through North Philly, to 30th Street and beyond. I don't know if you guys can catch that rumble, but it's pretty cool. I can feel it in the water. The wind's coming from there, and the bridges block it. So uh, usually it takes a while to get out from under the bridge's shadow. That means really slow going up until uh, we get out of the shadow and get some good clean air coming from over there again. It'll happen, just takes a while. I'm having some chips. So we're at the water department's uh, loading facility. That's uh, the Recycler, which is a barge. It's being hip-toed by gray paper there. Uh, pretty sure Water Department, their barges are uh, hauling well. Um, sludge, let's say sludge of a biological uh, origin. Good times. Glad I'm upwind. Check out this guy, gray paper. So we're at another big uh, industrial dock. I'm not sure what this one is. Maybe someone can uh, help me out in the comments, but uh, there's some crane action going on up there. These big guys, they can uh, actually move along the dock so that they can get to the different sections of the ships and bring up the, uh, the big uh, truck size uh, containers. They get dropped onto trucks or uh, railroad cars and shipped around. Um, but yeah, there's one there. One up there, and there's actually a uh, cargo ship up there getting ready to uh, on or offload. We'll get a closer look when we get uh, when we get up there a bit. So there's Saga Fantasy. That is a wide vessel. It looks pretty long, and it looks like she's actually packing her own cranes along with her, which is uh, neat. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that up here on the Delaware. Like, I don't take a whole lot of note of uh, the commercial uh, vessels. I didn't up until I started following the uh, Delaware River shipping uh, channel on uh, Facebook. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty neat looking vessel. I'm gonna get a little bit closer, see what is going on there. Looks like her uh, decks might be un like folded up so that the, uh, the whole container inside is uh, uh, open. We'll, uh, we'll get closer. We'll take another look. So yeah, it's not even a folded up uh, uh, deck cover. There's some kind of fabric hanging between the uh, sections of, I think, yeah, it's a, it's a big old crane that lives. Uh, there's one there and one there. They got like this fabric that's rolled down. I guess that they could get down to the inside of the uh, ship and it looks like those things roll. Yeah, they go, uh, Looks like they move forward and aft, and uh, I bet you those are big covers that pop on and off of different sections that are marked here on the hull. Six, seven, eight. That is pretty cool. The guys up on deck are waving. That's cool. But yeah, I have never seen a ship configured like that. That is really cool. I'm glad I got out here to see it.
we're sucking some wake off of some uh, uh, recreational power boats. That's fun. But yeah, this looks like a pretty uh, nice new ship. Gorgeous. Yeah, there's one of the cranes going down. That's excellent. There's our flags. I see a Chinese flag. Oh, Hong Kong. So I see a Chinese flag and what I think is a Hong Kong flag. Saga Fantasy is uh, flagged in Hong Kong. That is pretty cool. What we're seeing over here, from that end, back to that end, is Petty Island. I could do a whole 15 minute video just about the crazy, wacky history of Petty Island. Short version is it was like the Moss Isley spaceport of the Delaware River. It was just scum and villainy. It was nothing but like gambling and pirates and thieves and brothels. And it was just like bad news place. Uh, local lore says that Blackbeard uh, would come up and visit Philly and he would anchor off of Petty Island. It is covered in uh, what eventually became shipwrecks because they would uh, take old warships and just throw them up on the uh, on the shore of Petty Island and just let them rot. Uh, it is a crazy place. It used to be owned for or leased for a long time by one guy who they called the Emperor of Petty Island. And then uh, Sitgo got their hands on it, got a big lease. Now there's like a shipping depot that's closing. It's just, it's just crazy. We'll talk about it more sometime on another video, but uh, that's it. That's where we are. We're at Petty Island right now. And, uh, yeah, you can see the Ben Franklin Bridge way back there and the rest of Philadelphia over there. We're getting there. We're almost, uh, we're almost in the place. I'm uh, at Penn's Landing and I'm waiting for Draken Harold Harfagra to uh, come out of the fog, what I thought was fog. I'm pretty sure it is a good long line of wicked rain coming. So I'm all geared up. I'm in my yellows and uh, I'm waiting to get wet. So I'm going to have to put the phone away and uh, stop shooting video for now. Um, but hopefully it'll pass and then hopefully they'll show up and it'll be good times. All right, out. So the rain has left, um, just a little bit drizzle now and the wind picked up. It, it was kind of knocking me down a little bit. So I decided to play safe because uh, that's the best thing to do. I put a reef in the main. So we're about a foot and a half shorter than we were. And uh, the boat's being a lot more civilized. That's cool. Um, got to practice heaving too, which is a, uh, an essential skill. And uh, yeah, we're just sitting between the Ben Franklin over there and the Walt Whitman over there. And we're waiting for the ship to show up. And when they do, you know, we're gonna film it. It's gonna happen. So they're about an hour and 20 minutes late. It's 520, uh, but I see them. I've spotted them under the uh, Walt Whitman Bridge, uh, just about a mile down river of me. They are there. You probably can't see them, but they're there. So uh, I am sailing on down. I'm gonna meet them and wave. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. Hello, Draken! Welcome in! So guys, I know it might seem silly, but I'm sharing waterway with a Viking ship, and that is just so exciting to me. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I swung through, I met up with them, and uh, gave them a whole bunch of waves, told them welcome to Philadelphia, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna just keep on sailing along until they're ready to dock up. This has been excellent.
about 10 after 7 and uh, I'm on my way home I'm motoring uh, just because the tide is in my face the wind is right in my face and I did enough fighting on the way down to Penn's Landing I'm not gonna fight my way back um, I like sailing but I'm not dumb I'd be out here till midnight if I decided to sail this so uh, yeah I'm under the motor and I'm cruising on along and I'm headed home pretty high on the fact that I watched a Viking longship sail, well, motor, but come up the Delaware River. It was pretty excellent. I'm jazzed. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. And uh, we've still got some more stuff coming up. We've got the Governor's Cup races, probably about three races for PHRF. We've got the ladies regatta with C-Bomb driving a Flying Scott, which she's never done before in her life. And we've got a whole bunch of just kind of sailing around and screwing around and maybe do an overnight camping trip on the boat. And all that's gonna show up here at SV Gossamer Penguin on YouTube. So please do like and subscribe, it helps us out. Uh, if you wanna find more of what we do, find us on Instagram at SV Gossamer Penguin, on Twitter at Gossamer Penguin, on Facebook at SV Gossamer Penguin, and we do have a Patreon page at SV Gossamer Penguin. We are gonna take every dollar that goes into Patreon and put it right back into the boat, into gear for the boat, into uh, gear for the crew, into recording stuff, uh, so that we can get you better footage for better videos, and uh, whatever ends up left over goes into the Get Us a Faster Boat Fund so that we can be a little bit more competitive and get some more boat-to-boat -boat footage for you. Uh, some good close sailing, some more exciting stuff. So yeah, please stay tuned. More good stuff to come. Thanks for coming out, and I'll see you soon.